Okay, large intestine. Now, so here we're looking at the ileum just here. So the, most of the small intestine has been removed. It was sitting here. The, here's the last part of the small intestine, the third part, the ileum, coming into the cecum here. So that is sometimes called the ileocecal junction or ileocecal valve. And actually we can, we can flip that up and have a look. See that the ileum comes in here and there's a sphincter there. So food, which should be fluid by now, comes in here to the cecum. You can also see, especially if we just stand the, this part of the model up a little, here's the appendix. And the appendix sits on the bottom of the cecum there. Now, it's much smaller on the specimens. This looks very big for an appendix. So that's the appendix there sitting on the inferior aspect of the cecum, the first part of the large intestine. So if we fold that back down, we can see cecum here. From the cecum, we travel up the colon. So this is an ascending colon here. Then across is the transverse colon from right to left. Travelling inferiorly then is the descending colon. And then where it starts to curve, the S-shaped part is the sigmoid colon. So this is sigmoid colon here. The last part would be the rectum, which we can't see terribly clearly on here, but that would be the last part of the large intestine, which is straight. So sigmoid, descending, transverse, and then ascending here, and cecum and appendix here to begin with. Now, there's two other structures that are visible all the way along the uh, large intestine here. So these pouches are called haustra. And they're caused by contractions in these longitudinal muscle fibres here, which are the teneae coli. So both of those structures clearly visible here on this model. So a pouch, haustra, these lines running along teneae coli. And that means that if there was a pin here, you could say haustra and you'd be right, or you could say transverse colon and you'd be right. So there's two possible correct answers here. Same with the teneae coli. If the pin was on the teneae coli, you could say teneae coli and you'd be right, or you could say transverse colon and you'd be right. Of course, if you want to be particularly clever, you can say teneae coli of transverse colon, but you still only can get one mark. Sorry about that. <laughs>